When God Whispered by Fred Alberti Read by Sean McAvoy 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. My four-year-old son had to learn 2 Timothy 3.16 for Awana. One of the leaders was concerned and stated that there was just no way the children could grasp the idea of Scripture being God-breathed. So we decided to ask my son to explain what God-breathed meant. You know, I think we are sometimes too quick to underestimate a child's ability to understand the truths of the Bible. We are so quick to dismiss their abilities, yet this is what Jesus had to say in Matthew 11:25. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Jesus knew what little children could understand. I recently was walking through a nature trail. The leaves rustled underfoot, and the sun shone out over the lake next to the trail, inviting me to stop and reflect on God's glory. I found a bench, and while I sat there, I heard the breeze whispering through the tops of the trees. Just a slight hushed sound, and my thoughts. That's when I pondered on my son's words. What did my son say? He said, well, God breathed means that, and here he lowered his voice. God whispered it. Wow. God whispered his word. Peter said, You must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation, for prophecy never had its origin in the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. Our Bible isn't just some compilation of stories. It is the very word of God, whispered into the hearts and minds of men who were selected to be his special vessels to communicate his good news. How about you? Have you, like Elijah, heard the still small voice of the Lord bringing you comfort, encouragement, and guidance? If not, maybe you need to spend some time to just be still. Maybe in his time, you'll hear his whisper in your heart, too. Intersecting Faith and Life. Go for a walk in a park or through a quiet museum and find a quiet place where you can be still before the Lord. And for further reading, check out 1 Kings 19, 9 through 18 and Hebrews 4, 11 through 13. Hey listeners, thanks for joining us for the Crosswalk.com devotional podcast. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to podcasts. To find more devotional content like this, head over to Crosswalk.com.